Hello and welcome back to this new puzzle. The first currency pair that we are going to look at for today is Euro USD. This will be also the focus for the coming week, considering that uh, this is one of the major currency pairs. And on the other uh, hand, it will be a very interesting and busy week as well. The reason is that uh, during this week we have the ACB meeting and the interest rate decision. So if we are going to look at the economic calendar, we are going to see that all the week is very busy and risky as well. On Monday we are going to have the GDP data for uh, uh, the Swiss franc. On Monday again from the Euro side we are going to have the retail sales. So they, they are also very important. We need to remember that Monday is a day off for the US and the Canadian part because they have the Labor Day so it will be a day off and volume will be very low. On Tuesday the main events are uh, the Australian interest rate decision from the Bank of Australia. The next one is uh, on Tuesday again uh, ISM services. On Wednesday we have GDP for Australia again, so very strong events. We have the Bank of England monetary policy statement that will be released on uh, Wednesday. We have the GDP report on Wednesday again from Eurozone. Uh, Powell will have a speech on Wednesday. We are going to have Bank of Canada interest rate decision on Wednesday. So look at all the central banks are going to release very important data as we can see. The GDP from uh, the Japanese part, the Japan, trade balance and govern, Governor Louis speech from Australia and ACB interest rate decision. So uh, this will be the main event for the Eurozone and Euro USD as well. And also during the end of the day on Thursday, we are going to have the ACB press conference. So it will be a very volatile day. On Friday, uh, consumer price index from China. This will impact the Australian dollar mainly. And also we have the unemployment rate, participation rate and net change in employment from Canada. So overall, all the week will be very busy. But what we are looking at on this part is the focus on Euro USD as the main uh, currency, as a major currency. So let's go. We are here on the daily chart. And as we have seen, the daily chart looks very solid price is still developing within this channel so this is the channel where the price is developing we have the support areas from below the lower part of the structure so look at how the price is developing and the resistance that is still from the top of the structure look at the resistance part so as we can see on this uh, daily descending channel price is still pushing down from top all the time that price uh, reached uh, close the resistance area it came down again and actually we can see a price range movement that is moving within two points uh, the parity level will, was broken during the previous time so price is, is moving uh, between 0 0.99 and 1.00100 so 0 0.100 this is the trading area on friday as we saw the non-farm payroll didn't came out very high compared to the previous month, but they were a bit higher than the actual months. However, 
uh, what can happen is that probably the Fed is going to increase the interest rate with no, with 0 0.5 with 50 basis point and not with uh, 0 0.75 percent or 75 basis point and probably this is going to support a little bit the euro this time and on the other hand uh, Europe uh, ACB is expected to increase the interest rates probably by 0 0.75 let's see what is going to happen however until that moment the trading range that we are looking at here will be will work out very good the reason is simple until thursday because the price has to wait what is going to happen all of this consolidation is a bit complex scenario because price can break on the upper part of the consolidation or probably on the lower part so it depends how the market will interpret the interest rate increase from the european central bank so this is the first thing that we are going to look at as long as uh, european central bank is the first one uh, the price will be blocked for a short term period of time until thursday so all of this trading range is not so small because this is approximately a 200 pips trading range the support area that we are looking at is at 0 0.9 so all of this is acting like support and we have also the resistance from above until thursday i'm not expecting any uh, aggressive bullish movement what can happen on monday open probably the price can come a bit lower and it can bounce up again because the market will have to anticipate the in increase in the interest rate and probably we can see the retest of the upper zone again close to 1.00 or close to 1.0100 so this is what i am actually expecting during these days when we are going to see the release of the interest rate what uh, european central bank is going to do and how aggressive they will be on the press conference probably uh, that will push uh, the price to bounce higher so any breakout from the channel as well probably it will add some more volume to the next bullish continuation movement so it will not come fast but we need to see what is going to happen if the market will be deluded for uh, from their decision or from their statement i wouldn't be surprised to see this type of movement now both as are possible considering that the pattern overall is a type of pattern that can break out in both sides on the upper part and uh, on the lower side as well so let's see what we are going to have during uh, this week and uh, on the september 20 we are going to see fomc that is going to impact the market as well with the interest rate increase however we have some time until that moment so let's focus on the acb for uh, this week so these are the scenarios i'm not expecting the bearish movement however everything can happen as long as we are, are not market uh, makers the next one that we are going to look at is euro new zealand i have shared also this analysis some days ago in the telegram group and also my public profile as you have seen euro new zealand just let's find it for a moment just one moment this is the first scenario this is the previous one so as we are looking at on the previous zone price faced resistance the previous time it came a bit down and it should have continued higher as you can see price already pushed up and it reached the first resistance and the moment now is how the price can develop so uh, we need to consider that we have the bank of uh, the european central bank again during this week i'm going again on the four hour chart for euro new zealand 
and what we can see is that after price reached the first resistance area it is coming down it looks like the price may continue also lower from this point but this is not as easy as it seems at this moment price can be stopped also close to this structure this is getting more dense right now so it will not be so easy for the price to come down because we have the, this part of the structure and we have also the resistance area that is close to, to this point so all of this can push the price up again what i am expecting and why i am expecting the price up and, and the, the situation that this is a bit tricky scenario is that on the first wave development we saw the price to create this movement so overall i am expecting for a movement like this and if we are on the fourth way development price should not come lower than this point because after that it can move uh, it can develop in another way so this is what i'm looking at here the second reason is because on the previous wave price developed as a one two three four five wave development and this was followed by a three wave correction that is a classic Elliott wave development so this is the reason why i'm still looking at for a potential reversal from the top of this small structure here so let's say from this top if price is going to hold above 1.6270 it should continue moving higher from this point and it will be very interesting so this is with simple uh, words so let's see we don't have to take any action at all on the other hand the european central bank may support the bullish movement this week so the market can anticipate the movement and it can continue the first resistance area that the price will face will be the first zone that we have pointed out during the previous analysis and the second one will be 1.66 so let's see what is going to happen until that moment because it will be interesting again so I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button for more future content. Bye bye.